Alpha beta pruning is a search algorithm that seeks to decrease the number of nodes that are evaluated by the Minimax algorithm in its search tree. It is an adversarial search algorithm used commonly for machine playing of two-player games. It stops completely evaluating a move when at least one possibility has been found that proves the move to be worse than a previously examined move. Such moves need not be evaluated further. When applied to a standard Minimax tree, it returns the same move as Minimax would, but prunes away branches that cannot possibly influence the final decision. History Alan Newell and Herbert A. Simon who used what John McCarthy calls an approximation in 1958 wrote that Alpha Beta appears to have been reinvented a number of times. Arthur Samuel had an early version and Richards, Hart, Levine and or Edwards found Alpha Beta independently in the United States. McCarthy proposed similar ideas during the Dartmouth Conference in 1956 and suggested it to a group of his students including Alan Cotto, Kit Mitt in 1961. Alexander Bradno independently discovered the Alpha Beta algorithm, publishing his results in 1963. Donald Nuth and Ronald W. Moore refined the algorithm in 1975 and Judea Pearl proved its optimality in 1982. Improvements over naive Minimax The benefit of alpha-beta pruning lies in the fact that branches of the search tree can be eliminated. This way, the search time can be limited to the more promising subtree, and a deeper search can be performed in the same time. Like its predecessor, it belongs to the branch and bound class of algorithms. The optimization reduces the effective depth to slightly more than half that of simple minimax if the nodes are evaluated in an optimal or near optimal order, with an branching factor of B, and a search depth of D plies. The maximum number of leaf node positions evaluated is O equals O, the same as a simple minimax search. If the move ordering for the search is optimal, the number of leaf node positions evaluated is about O for odd depth and O for even depth, or, in the latter case, where the ply of a search is even, the effective branching factor is reduced to its square root, or, equivalently, the search can go twice as deep with the same amount of computation. The explanation of B asterisk 1 B 1 asterisk is that all the first player's moves must be studied to find the best one, but for each, only the best second player's move is needed to refute all but the first first player move. Alpha beta ensures no other second player moves need be considered. When nodes are ordered at random, the average number of nodes evaluated is roughly Normally during alpha beta, the subtrees are temporarily dominated by either a first player advantage, or vice versa. This advantage can switch sides many times during the search if the move ordering is incorrect, each time leading to inefficiency. As the number of positions searched decreases exponentially each move nearer the current position, it is worth spending considerable effort on sorting early moves. An improved sort at any depth will exponentially reduce the total number of positions searched. But sorting all positions at depths near the root node is relatively cheap as there are so few of them. In practice, the move ordering is often determined by the results of earlier, smaller searches, such as through iterative deepening. The algorithm maintains two values, alpha and beta which represent the maximum score that the maximizing player is assured of and the minimum score that the minimizing player is assured of, respectively. Initially alpha is negative infinity and beta is positive infinity, i.e., both players start with their lowest possible score. It can happen that when choosing a certain branch of a certain node the minimum score that the minimizing player is assured of becomes less than the maximum score that the maximizing player is assured of. If this is the case, the parent node should not choose this node, because it will make the score for the parent node worse. 
Therefore, the other branches of the node do not have to be explored. Additionally, this algorithm can be trivially modified to return an entire principal variation in addition to the score. Some more aggressive algorithms such as MTD do not easily permit such a modification. Pseudocode The pseudocode for the fail-soft variation of alpha-beta pruning is as follows. O1 function alpha beta O2 if depth equals 0 or node is a terminal node O3 return the heuristic value of node O4 if maximizing player O5 V equals infinity O6 for each child of node O7 V equals max O8 alpha equals max O9 if beta alpha 10 break 11 return V12 else 13 V equals infinity 14 for each child of node 15 V equals min 16 beta equals min 17 if beta alpha 18 break 19 return V alpha beta with fail soft alpha beta. The alpha beta function may return values that exceed the alpha and beta bounds set by its function call arguments. In comparison, fail hard alpha beta limits its function return value into the inclusive range of alpha and beta. Heuristic improvements. Further improvement can be achieved without sacrificing accuracy, by using ordering heuristics to search parts of the tree that are likely to force alpha beta cutoffs early. For example, in chess, moves that take pieces may be examined before moves that do not, or moves that have scored highly in earlier passes through the game tree analysis may be evaluated before others. Another common, and very cheap, heuristic is the killer heuristic, where the last move that caused a beta cut off at the same level in the tree search is always examined first. This idea can also be generalized into a set of refutation tables. Alpha beta search can be made even faster by considering only a narrow search window. This is known as aspiration search. This is particularly useful for win-loss searches near the end of a game where the extra depth gained from the narrow window and a simple win-loss evaluation function may lead to a conclusive result. If an aspiration search fails, it is straightforward to detect whether it failed high or low. This gives information about what window values might be useful in a research of the position. Over time, other improvements have been suggested. And indeed the foul for better idea of fish burn is nearly universal and is already incorporated above in a slightly modified form. Fishburn also suggested a combination of the killer heuristic and zero window search under the name Lalpha Better other algorithms, more advanced algorithms that are even faster while still being able to compute the exact mini-max value are known, such as Scout, Nagascout and MTDF. Since the mini-max algorithm and its variants are inherently depth-first, a strategy such as iterative deepening is usually used in conjunction with alpha-beta so that a reasonably good move can be returned even if the algorithm is interrupted before it has finished execution. Another advantage of using iterative deepening is that searches at shallower depths give move ordering hints, as well as shallow alpha and beta estimates that both can help reduce cutoffs for higher depth searches much earlier than would otherwise be possible. Algorithms like SSS asterisk, on the other hand, use the best first strategy. This can potentially make them more time efficient, but typically at a heavy cost in space efficiency.